born as a baby, he grew up to be a man. And so will these grow up to be men and women. Aren't they precious? That's what it's all about. Wow. Okay. I said I got something for you. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to ask Rebecca, would you do something for me? Sure, she says, what is she going to do? <laughs> I'm going to ask you if you would have two, get, ask each one to just get two. And everybody can have two candy canes. Every year I give out candy canes to children and I tell a story about what the candy cane represents. There's a legend and I, I don't know how true it is, but it's a good story that uh, many years ago in Indiana there was a candy maker. And this candy maker wanted to make a candy that represented Jesus Christ and his, what he came to do for us. And, oh, I just happen to have two in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. And, if, and these candy canes are, are very interesting. They're made like a shepherd's crook. If you ever looked at one, that's, that's what they look like, is a shepherd's crook. And the candy maker made it out of a very, a very hard candy because Jesus is our rock. But on this candy cane, which is made out of white candy, representing the purity of Jesus Christ, he's never committed any sin, never has and never will, that Jesus Christ also came to give his life for us. At Christmas, people remember the birth of Christ, and he certainly was born, but he grew up, and he's not still a baby. He grew up, and he went to the cross for you and for me. And so if you look at the candy cane, you'll see, kids, you can look on here, and you can see there's a big broad red stripe. That represents the blood that Jesus Christ shed for you and me. And you see there's like three little narrow stripes on there that represents that by his stripes we're healed and the healing there is we're being healed or saved from our sin and so that's all represented by the white candy and the red candy and if you turn it over what letter is that j. it's a j my favorite letter the letter for jesus <laughs> that's what it represents but there's something else i thought about and that is one of the things that often happens to these candy canes what happens to them when you handle them, what? They break. They break. And then they get eaten. <laughs> That's right. And I thought, I want you all to take, you got two candy canes. I want you to just take one of them, and I want you to break it. That's what happened to Jesus. His body was broken for your sin and mine. And then he said, take, eat, this is my body. Now, we usually use the bread, right? We usually use the bread. But in this case, you could eat this because he's also the word of life. And he is sweeter than a honeycomb, Jesus is. So you could receive the candy. And that's just a symbol. It just represents Jesus. This isn't Jesus. He's, a, he's the Son of God. But it's a reminder. So every time you see a candy cane, remember that the message came to the shepherds. And that he's pure, he never committed any sin, that by his stripes we're healed, he shed his blood for us, he's pure, never committed any sin, and his body was broken so that we could be forgiven of our sin. And I hope every time you see a candy cane, you remember that. It tells a lot about Jesus Christ, doesn't it? Anyway, y'all like candy canes? Yeah. What's the best part of Christmas for you? What do you like the most about Christmas? Oh, wow. What do you think? Presents. <laughs> Presents. Well, anyone else? What do you think? What's the best thing about Christmas? Um, giving. giving. He likes giving. Giving is actually a lot of fun. What do you think? What's the best part about it? Spending time with your family. And I like that part a lot. The older I get, the more I like to spend time with family or with friends. That means a lot to me. Oh, what, what, what? What do you want to say? I better get way down here. <laughs> What's the best part of Christmas to you? Oh, joining your family and your friends. That's oh. precious. <laughs> Very precious. Oh, what? One more. Food. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I have to confess, Steve, food is one of mine, yes. And Jesus, that's it. Of course, it's all about Jesus Christ. Christmas means he came for us, right? Well, God bless you. Let's give these kids a hand. They did a good job.